Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be taking a look at a game called Colony Survival. Colony Survival is a unique first-person strategy game developed by a two-man team. Build your own colony in a voxel world. Command guards, farmers, miners, and other colonists. Defend your colony against the horde of monsters that attack every night. I mean, this like, yes. Yes, please. I actually played this game in 2017, I think, uh, and it was awesome then. I know they've done a lot of work to it. It is $20 on Steam, and thank you to, to the developers for sending me a key. Uh, it also has multiplayer, apparently. Mod manager stuff. I mean, oh, God. I played for about a half hour just to reacquaint myself with the game. Oh, boy. This is right up my alley. All right, so the world name will be Season 2. Oh, I can't put spaces in there. Space bar. Nope, can't put seasons in there. Okay. If you want to play along, there's the seed I'm going to be playing on. And we're going to leave everything normal. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's got mod workshop stuff, mod configuration stuff. Just freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. All right. So, I believe I will be okay. Basically, you start off by yourself. Okay. Here, here's the um, basics. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to read that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head for that mountain over there. Um, it looks like I'm in some kind of desert biome. Does it, I wonder if it tells you the biome you're in. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to look for a nice place to build. I want to build into the side of a cliff. And that looks pretty promising right there. If I can't find anything in the immediate area, I might restart the world. If I do, I will make sure uh, to show you guys the seed. Okay, and here we are. I got a seed that I like. I found a spot that I liked. And I kind of came from that direction over there. And I'm about to show you guys the seed right now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of clear out and start digging underground. And I want to set up, I kind of want my guys to live underground. I'm going to dig out all the sand too and replace it with um, proper, you know, proper blocks and everything. I would like to get my guys going as soon as possible though. So I'm not going to get too fancy with this right off the bat. I just kind of want to build in the middle. I think that looks pretty good right in the middle. So we're going to start digging in and we hit stone pretty quickly. Uh, you can turn on a light. You don't need a torch or anything. It just, it just gives you light, which is nice. Alright, so we're just going to kind of build in here a little bit. Alright, and we'll do this. Now, I don't know how building into the side of a cliff is going to work in this game, because it does have hordes that come after you. So, this is going to be pretty interesting for me. We'll just kind of have to see. What is that? It doesn't tell you what it is. I guess I could dig it up and find out. Oops. Let's see what that is. I'm kind of curious. Um, This is my stockpile. Yeah, I don't have an active colony yet. So, right there is copper. So, that's freaking unbelievably cool. Okay, so can I put the flag inside? I don't think you could put a flag inside, but hey, you know, it's a good it's a good question. Let's um let's just put this down for now. And let's see if we can put a flag in here. Cuz the um the enemies are going to go after the f the flag specifically. Okay. I don't even know if they attack your co your colonists. There's a lot I don't know about this game. I played it like 100 years ago. Okay, it wasn't 100 years ago. It was a long time ago though. And, you know, there's a lot I don't remember. All right, so right now we're on our... I press number two. That's number one. That's like my... If you look on the bottom, like at my hop bar, number one, number two, and then number three starts my proper hop bar. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to start a new colony here. And we will call it East... Uh, can I put in spaces? Yeah. Bumble Fudge. There we go. Okay, so you can put it inside. That's interesting. I didn't think you could do that. All right, so we're going to start clearing this out. I'm not going to bring guys in just yet. Um, they're going to need beds. They're going to need food. We start with a bunch of stuff. Now I now I actually have an inventory. And this isn't really my personal inventory. This is the stockpile for the for the colony, okay? Um, I could do stuff like this. Um, I could bring this down here. And I could bring some of these down here as well. Now, anything I put in my, anything I put in my hot bar is mine. I got 10 already. Oh, there was 10. Okay. You know, I, I picked it up and I never looked at it. How do I... There we go. So now I can use the sling. That's a sling, by the way, uh, to defend myself. Now, I don't know what happens if you block the enemy from getting to you completely. I don't think they could be... I don't think they could destroy stuff. Back in the day, they definitely couldn't destroy stuff. Now, can they destroy stuff? I don't know. I have no freaking clue. But um, it's going to be pretty fun to find out. So let me clear out some uh, space down here. So I've got a couple of rooms uh, cleared out here. You know, it's interesting. I didn't get attacked. I, I didn't know if I would get attacked without colonists. I guess maybe you don't get attacked without colonists. So 
That was pretty interesting. Okay. Um, what I need to know is how do I move the flag? <laughs> that I don't know yet. I'm going to look into that. Anyway, this is going to be the main hall. And over here will be the first bedroom. So we're gonna. I went ahead and made some beds. Uh, in order to craft, all you got to do is come over here and click on this. So they'll tell you exactly what you need. Planks, straw, copper nails. All right. And I made a bunch of beds. And now I'm going to place them down. R to rotate. All right. There we go. And I think you want to leave a spot in between them. If I remember correctly. All right, there we go. Right click to place them down, by the way. All right, so now that we got that going on, why don't we come over here and I need to start a farm. And I don't know if farms need to be outside. I'm going to assume they do. Also, can you make farms on sand? I don't know. It's a good question. Um, why don't we go ahead to our king, press number one, go to our command tool, and then right click and do food. And berry farm. Quick and easy food start with this. Requires um arable ar ground. Uh you know, I don't think I can do it on this ground, but I might as well try. Yeah, okay. I didn't think so. I'm very happy about that actually. I didn't want to be able to uh, farm on sand. That would have been dumb. So let's put this down here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig up some sand. And we're just going to make a little farm here. Now, I don't know how the farming works. Because you can make the farm as big or as small as you like. But when I, when I was doing my test game, my farmer never ran out of, like, berries. So, I don't know what the point of making a big farm is. If it's not going to ever run out. I have no idea. So, um, I'm going to make a pretty small farm here. And uh, see how it goes. Yeah, he was just not running out of berries. So, I don't know why you would want a big farm. I don't know what the point of it is. Um, also, I think you're supposed to need, like, seeds, but I don't know. They, they seem to plant them without seeds. All right, so I'm on the berry farm right now, and I will do this. Um, too small, huh? Really? Well, that answers my question. It has to be a certain size. Fair enough. Now, how, how big does it need to be? I'm going to grab some of this stuff. Stuff's all going to come out anyway. And let's go ahead and dump that right there. And that's more than we need, so let's place this down, see if we can... You know what, let's just come over here and see the biggest berry farm we can make. I won't make it over here, but it'll at least allow me to see how big it needs to be. Alright, so a 5 by one by 5 5 is height, by the way. Alright. So what is that, a um, 4? Yep, okay, this will make it a 5 by 5 Alright, so they have to be a certain... You can't do a berry farm unless it's a certain amount of distance. Interesting. All right, so that should be good. I didn't do it. I think you got to right click. There we go. All right, and now you can see in the top left hand side, we have an unemployed person, which is fine. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to do left click. I'm still getting used to the controls a little bit. Uh, we need guards and we need nighttime guards, slingers. And we could put that right there. Should be One should be good for a couple nights at least. Alright, and then the next thing we're going to do is we start with a... Do you start with it? Yeah, right here, science labs. So I don't really know where I want to put the science labs yet. I guess I'll put them right here. I think I can always move them whenever I want. I don't know why you'd want two. I'm just going to put down one. And the other thing I'm going to do is a miner. And we will put a miner... On, that's copper. And that's tin. I don't think I need the tin just yet. Alright, so now we have four... We have four un, uh, unemployed people. We need four colonists, basically. So what we're going to do is... We're going to press... Oh boy, C? Yes, C. Uh, recruiting the next ten colonists is free. Colonists require a meal per day and a bed. There are four spare beds. You can recruit 25 colonists before breaching max population. So we're going to do recruit to fill all jobs. Okay, and okay, so another thing they need is a meal table. I don't think you start with one of those. So, oh yeah, we need crates too. We're going to make a, uh, four crates. And we're also going to make the grocery store. That's where they go to get their food. And we'll put the grocery store right there. Seems like a good spot for it. Okay, and we have one more unemployed because of the grocery store, so we'll recruit again. Uh, oh, I need another bed. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and make a bed. And put that down. Like so. Whoops. I always try and left click to place them down. 
All right, so this guy is researching. Okay, I got to pick what I want him to research. I'm going to research, I don't know, uh, Bronze Anvil. Sounds good. That's what it started with. That'll unlock a lot of things. Unlock a Metalsmith. Nice. Okay, so we need to recruit. And there we go. All right, it's getting dark out, so now we should get attacked. By the way, the farmer did all the berries. Um, the enemy should not attack your berry farm, or, as far as I can tell. So we'll have to see how that goes. And for the first night, I'm going to cut... This is my guard, by the way. He'll, um, he'll... Oh, does he have a sling? Yeah, he has a sling. And right here is the ammo. He has 75 ammo, so he's good to go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a crate out here. Because anytime these crates um, link all your... Like, all of your inventory. Like, your entire stockpile. So, if I put a crate out here... Um, seems like a pretty good spot for it. When this guy's done picking berries... By the way, the person who picks the berries also makes meals. He makes some kind of meal. I forget what it is. So some kind of berry meal. Um, and he'll drop stuff off in that crate. Alright? The same thing... Um, I gotta put these crates all over the place. Well, I guess they're pretty close together, so we don't really need to put them all over the place. That one will be fine. The person who mines will bring the copper to the... There, and I think they have to get, like, whenever they're researching, they have to get bronze ingots, copper tools, copper nails, all that stuff. Um, so they'll have to, I think, come over here to get that stuff. All right. I think that pretty much brings us up where we need to be. Um, we need a workbench, too. Uh, did I start with a work? No, workbench is this thing right here. Copper parts and copper tools. So right here, we can make our own things. So we're going to make a couple... A couple of parts and a couple of tools and then we're going to make a workbench and we will place the workbench right there and we're not going to do you want to fill that in I, I kind of feel like i want to make sure they're going to be okay with food before i start recruiting people so much i don't think i actually need someone on the workbench right now i don't know maybe i do but i'm going to leave it alone for now one more person yeah let's go to six to hell with it yeah let's go to six but we'll stop there until I feel that the food is okay. I mean, the food should be okay. Oops. There we go. Sorry. Don't need to make any noise. And there we go. And recruit. Oh, here he comes. And he's dead. Cool. Nice little choke point there for this guy. He should be able to handle the first night no problem by himself. All right, well, I think while he's doing his thing, I'm going to continue building out. I'd like to maybe make some work, some workshops and stuff. Some workshop areas. This thing needs to be one more, one more like this. Now I'm going to make some workshops. I'm going to dig out some areas. And, um, yeah, we should be okay for this first night, though. All right, that was pretty interesting. This guy almost got to him. That is, hmm. I'm going to have to set up uh, probably another guard for tomorrow night just to make sure. Otherwise, I'd have to sit here babysitting him. And I've got work to do. Got to make a, a workstation. So should I put all of my all of my work benches in the same workstation? I think that'll I think that'll be cool. And we'll only make it as big as we need to. All right, so we can pick that up and uh, get, clear out our hot bar a little bit. And the workbench is right there. And we'll put this um put this on this side, and then we'll put this right next to it. Okay. And everybody's good to go. Everyone's getting to work. Beautiful. So yeah, I see that this guy's picking berries. So he'll pick berries and then once he like gets once he feels like it, I don't know when he feels like it, he'll like make um berry I don't know, it's like bowl of berries or something. I don't know where it is. Okay. So um since the workbench is down, um we could take a look at this, and you could basically set this up to have a certain amount of everything, right? And I'm going to reset it all. Uh, actually, I'm going to set it all to zero because I want very specific things. So we need iron ingots. Can we search for stuff? How do you make iron ingots? Do they come up as iron ingots? All right, hold on. Let's just uh, set him up to have uh, 12, 12 nails, um, 12 of those. All right, so now what he'll do is um, he'll keep making stuff until he has 12 copper nails, uh, 8 copper parts, or four cop and 4 copper tools. Actually, I'll put those up a little bit. Okay, are we getting attacked during the day? 
Yeah, we did. Okay, I I shouldn't be being attacked during the day. This happened this happened earlier too. Daytime monsters. I think that guy was Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I think that I think those guys are leftovers from the night. Maybe I should put on a daytime guy too. Ugh, I don't I really shouldn't have to. They didn't attack this guy. That's pretty cool. They go right for the flat. Yeah, they're still they're still coming in. Uh, I really don't want to waste a guy on daytime you know, protection, but, all right, it is what it is, all right, so what do we need for this, we need, um, um, requires, oh, a bronze ingot, copper tools, copper nails, okay, so start science, in stockpile, oh, I don't, I don't know how to get a bronze ingot, maybe that shouldn't be the first thing I research, I don't know, flex farming, I don't think either of those are going to give me bronze ingots, we forgot to do bronze ingots, all right, it's got to be the furnace, so we will go ahead and put a furnace down. And there you go. Bronze ingots. Yep. Copper and tin. And firewood. Do I have firewood? How do you have firewood? Oh, I think I saw firewood in here. Yep. Firewood. All right. Keep about 42 firewood. Okay. Um, do we have enough? Do we have a lot of copper? Oh, by the way, um, they were making bowls of berries. I think they got eaten, though. Yeah. Oh, he's not doing anything, huh? No, he's dropping stuff off. See? Berry meal. I don't think they can eat regular berries and stuff. They have to have meals. As far as I can tell. Could be wrong about that. Alright, so we need someone on that thing. So, alright. How much copper do we have in here? Uh, 32. That's a, that's a decent amount. What we're going to do is we're going to manage jobs. And we're going to set up the miner to zero. And then that way the guy should go to the smelter. Yep, there he goes. Is he getting... Re yeah, he's getting resources. Okay. That's not too far to go for a resource. Although, these boxes are cheap, so why not? There you go. Now you don't even have to go that far. Alright, cool. And he's doing his thing. Gotta keep an eye on the food. These bread meals I started with. So. Um, Alright, so he's doing... Yeah, he needs the ingots. You know what? I'm gonna switch this over. Cancel. We're gonna, we're gonna go for our water gathering. Start science because he actually has the planks, the copper. You know, he all he has all that stuff. Well, uh, actually, maybe he doesn't. Copper nails. Eh, I'll make a couple more for him. There you go. I don't know if he's gonna need the tools or not. All right, cool. Very nice. Look at this guy making fruit bowls. Love it. All right, cool. All right, so the research I just saw got done. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna look. Um, complete and now i can do bread production yes uh oh, he's getting 30 berry meals for that holy crap dude uh how the hell am i supposed to get 30 berry meals i'm not sure how to i guess i can make more farmers but then that means more recruits what about fishing uh fish farmer fisherman huh but we need water for that right i don't yeah i don't think fisherman's gonna really do us much good here unfortunately Okay, uh, so what do I want to do? Flax farming? Bowstrings, unlocks flax farmer. Um, you know what? Let's just go for the bronze stuff. He should have some stuff. He should have a lot of the stuff he needs for that. It's starting to get dark, too. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to make another... Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Remove. Left click. Guard. Slinger. Face that way. Okay. Now, who do I want to take off? Let's take the guy off this. He probably... We probably have all the ingots we need now. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, I'm going to take him off... Manage jobs. I'm going to take him off... Miner. And then he should go to the Night Slinger. Alright. Uh, one of three. He should have everything he needs for that. I can always make copper tools and nails. Copper tools and nails. Yeah, he's going to need some more nails. Um, and probably some more tools as well. Okay. You know what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move these back. Because I didn't like where they were. And I'll put that right there. That right there. That's a little better. And then we continue making space in here. Now, is there two people guarding? Yes, there is. Okay. Those two guys should have no problem guarding. I'm going to open this up a little bit. Just because it'll give. I think it'll give them a better advantage. You know, shooting these things. Yeah, that'll work. 
Yeah, one more. Okay. Yeah, that should be a pretty good death trap right there for the enemy. I should not have to mess with that. Hoping I get more decoration blocks uh, moving forward. I'm trying to kind of make this place look cool, but we shall see about that. All right, it is daytime. The two guards were perfectly awesome. So I'm going to switch one of them out. Oh, by the way, research is done. So we complete that. Now we can make a water pump, allowing water to be gathered anywhere. I'll be at a slow pace. Um, digger. <clears throat> digger. Oh, I can make a digger. That's right. I can have like... Oh, I need colony points for that. Shoot. Yeah, I forgot. I can make diggers. I can have people dig for me. Oh, man. That would be dope AF. Um, I guess we'll just do this. No, nah, that takes berry meals. I'm not doing berry. I'm not doing anything that takes berry meals. I guess we could do fishing, but like, is there any real reason for it? Um, I don't see any other science. Like, you know what? Whoa. What was that? What was that? A monster killed one. Oh no, it's the farmer. He's not protected. You son of a bitch. Okay. You know what? That actually makes me really really happy because it was kind of bothering me they were walking right by him as a matter of fact i think they should have killed him earlier okay well you know what we got some building to do people all right well i gotta get that farmer out again it is daytime so um we'll just recruit another person how is the farmer doing ah, the farmer was doing pretty good before he was dead okay well that sucks all right so let's recruit somebody else um Make crew for all all jobs? Yeah, screw it, do it. Okay, so someone should be a farmer now. Alright, let's make some uh, defense. Now, I don't know how the enemy will work coming from the top. That's the only thing that I'm a little concerned about. But, we'll just kind of have to play it by ear. See how things go. First things first, let's get up a wall. I do have a ton of stone because I've been digging it out, so. Alright, so we'll just make... Uh, it's going to be very... Very small wall, you know, for the beginning. Okay, that should go right... Uh, that looks pretty good to me. I don't know how enemies are going to be dropping on my head. That's the only thing I don't know about. But it's going to be fun to find out. I think what I could do is I could smooth this mountain down a little bit. Yeah, so let's smooth this out a little bit. Okay, I'm kind of flattening this out the best I can. Uh, but we're not going to make it for this night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him off farming. Uh, because what happened was he came out during the day. But the enemies are still coming in. Because they'll spawn during the night. But they spawn like pretty far away I guess. And then they make their way here. And by the time they get here it's daytime. So my guy comes out to farm. But the enemies are just getting here at that point. So I have to figure out a way around that. Oh I didn't know that would be an issue. I could always move those back I guess. Um, for now, I'll just kind of put this up like that. Yeah, I could probably just move this back. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Alright, and let's build this wall up. Okay, like that. I don't think the enemy can jump. Not quite sure exactly how high the enemy can get, but we're going to make these walls pretty high. Uh, let's just leave an opening, I guess, right there for now. Just... They got, they got to be able to get in. I, I forget what happens if they can't get in. I think your guys just start dying or something. I really don't remember. Alright. Now, if this works and they don't get in from anywhere else, I could put my, my guards out here. And then I kind of expand it a little bit. I'd also like to make another farm. Um, but for now, we're going to do this. Okay. I could even move that farm if I want to. Um... I'm going to leave the guards, I'm going to leave it on one guard, and I'm going to um, help protect as well. So that should be pretty cool. Alright, so let's see, what we, let's see what we're looking at with our stuff now. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, only six copper? Yeah, we got to get a guy on copper. Do I have a guy on copper? I thought I did. Minor, but the thing is, I had the guy, the knight slinger guard and i think he had to sleep during the day so he didn't actually go do the cop he didn't go do he didn't go mine the copper so all right fair enough that's exactly what i'm wondering about what's this guy gonna do what are you gonna do bro all right so it doesn't look like he's going out of his way to come up here he, he's definitely not he didn't drop down that, that's what i'm really worried about is i'm dropping down 
Uh, yeah, this looks like it's going to be okay. Alright, we'll come in here and help this guy out. I made a bunch more stone, too. It's pretty cheap. Especially since I got, like, a million stone. Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. Did that guy get killed? I don't know where he went. There he is. Alright, you finish him. I'll give you the kill shot. Nice job. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look... I don't think they're going to jump down. Because I don't think they want the fall damage. Maybe. I don't know. See, he could easily climb up here. Wait, can they not? Oh, there they go. Okay. Alright, that's that's fine. I can I can deal with that. Whoop. Yeah, I could I could deal with that. That won't be a problem. All I have to do is this and this. Okay. Should be okay on that side. Put a couple blocks up like this. Come up here. Alright. Alright, yeah, like I said, I'll build this up even. <clears throat> and if worse comes to worse and they do drop down, I can always put a wall up there. But the thing is, I don't think they're going to drop down. Alright, now that I feel a little bit better, <clears throat> it's not perfect. They still got it. They, they were still able to get in, but I think I have a way to keep them out now. Um, so what I want to do now is I would like to make another farm. And I'm going to... I don't know if I want to make the farm right up against my walls. I don't think I like that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four. Okay. This should be a five by five. And I should have the, what is that called? Um, Cold temperate grass. Apparently you can make it if you want. And I'm going to start another farm. We really need to get, now that, we're, now that we got our defense set up, we need food production. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, really? Look at this guy. See, the problem is sometimes the zombies look like my own guys. Alright, so I'm not sure how he got in. He might have walked in right through the front. I wasn't paying attention, so... That's a bummer. Okay, well, I gotta keep an eye on it. At least he didn't kill any of my guys. Two, three, four, five. And let's set up another berry thing. I wonder how many people one of these berry fields, like, feed... Uh, yeah, we're starting to save up berry meals. Although, because they're probably eating the bread meals. Okay, and then um, one. Right click, food. Water gatherer fills buckets. Nah, I don't really know what I need water for right now. There we go. Oh, uh, got a left right click. There we go. I'll move the other one back, by the way. I know they're not lined up. Okay, so now we need someone on that. So what are we going to take off? Crafter, scientist. Let's take off the scientist since it doesn't really seem like we have anything right now we can, like, we need. So, uh, refresh. And there we go. We got another farmer. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Looking pretty good. So he will get us some more berries. That one's doing good. Doing good over here. What are we, what are we looking at in here? Okay, so we got a good amount of stuff in here. Uh, let's take a look in here. Yeah, see, we can't even, like, do this. We need those berry meals. That's what we need. I wonder if I could set them up to not eat berry meals. I, I don't even know how I would do that. Manage jobs. Man. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how I would do that. If there's a way, let me know. Um, this is colony points. You need colony points for stuff. Um, colony points can be earned by distributing meals and luxury items. What are luxury items? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, current points. Okay, so we are getting colony points. They, basically, they're getting colony points, um, by eating. <laughs> so, you know, that'll be good. That'll be good for now. What I need to do is solidify the back. So, let's go do that now. Turn off my timer. And I'm just kind of looking. Yeah, I mean, this should be... Yeah, this side's pretty solid. Maybe, um... Do I do that? Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Like I said, I don't think they're going to jump up here and jump down onto my wall. But I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility. For now, that should be pretty good. And now let's go look at the other edge, because the other edge was the real problem. Yeah, this is the, this was the issue right here. Alright, I need to tear all this down. 
Okay, well, guys, this is just tearing stuff down, so I think this is a good time to call it. Uh, we've got off to a good start. I really am thrilled at this game. I hope you guys are, are going to enjoy it and watch it. If you um, you know, if you want to see more, make sure you uh, you know, leave the comments. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you like the video, share with your friends, watch the videos as soon as they come out. Like the quicker the views, the better they usually do. If you want to see more of this, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.